So you're getting your ass kicked in return and are looking for some retribution. Hey, don't worry, I think payback is a beautiful thing. And that's why today I'm here to give you 10 essential tips to kick ass. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with the most important aspect of a mall in Returnal. If you don't have this, then you've got nothing. I'm talking about invincibility while dashing. As you can see on screen, I decided to use my good friend Algus, who I've defeated about a billion times already, to show you that you can dash through literally any attack in this game and don't take damage as long, and this is the very critical bit, as long as you don't finish your dash inside an attack. And since Returnal is that devilishly delicious type of game where push does come to shove very quickly and very oftenly, then you do need to master this. Like I said, I decided to start this video with the most important tip right out of the gates because you really need to focus this. Study this. You know, enter a battle with weaker enemies and focus strictly on dodging attacks. Dodge into projectiles, get a feel for the length of your dash, because this isn't something you're actually going to be thinking about, this is something you're going to be feeling, you're going to be doing this by sheer muscle memory. As for our second tip, it also revolves around invincibility, and this is something you will need to use specially when tackling the Tower of Sisyphus, and I'm talking about grappling invincibility. And your invincibility period here is actually a lot more generous than what we already have in the dashing invincibility because from the moment you start your grappling animation all the way until you finish it, you are invincible. And since Selene's grappling hook can reach very, very far, you can already see the tactical implications, the tactical advantages of doing so. You can bait an enemy attack and then grapple very far away from him and unload your carbine rifle, for example. If things do get too hot for you to squeeze a shot here and there, then you can keep on grappling until you see a safer opening. And if you're wondering where the fuck do you get the grappling hook, then don't worry, it's a story item. Up next, we have perhaps the technique I use the most in Returnal. I'm talking about sword cancelling. Unlike in many other third-person shooters where melee combat is something that always feels shoehorned rather than a well-thought and implemented system. In Returnal, melee combat is something that you both need to break enemy barriers and abuse because Selene is a bad motherfucker. She deals an insane amount of damage with that blade. Turrets and weaker enemies like those smaller dogs, that octopus type of thing, they can be one-shot even while under the effects of the regen spell from those green towers. The problem is, if you simply attack and just stay there, the animation is a little bit slow, you leave yourself wide open. So the way to remedy this is, again, you're gonna play this by muscle memory. As soon as you connect the sword strike, instantly dodge away from the enemy. Not only cut the sword strike animation by at least 50%, but remember our very first step, and I'm gonna say it again, pay attention to that. Dodging is vital in Returnal, okay? Remember that tip, remember the invincibility factor? Well, you're gonna remove yourself from your spot where you attack while being invincible. Now, in case you're wondering, you can change this, but not immediately. You're gonna have to wait just a small beat between every single new chain. You know, I can safely say that the sword canceling technique makes up for at least 30% of my gameplay. Master this and your damage output will skyrocket. Next up, we have a very quick tip, uh, which may seem useless, but trust me, for a guy that was one obelite short of being able to buy an upgrade or item which later down the line resulted in a lost run, then I just have to put this. Uh, throughout the game, you're gonna see those statues of the people who live in that planet. And some of them will have yellow eyes. And when you break those statues, you will always get 15 obelites. Again, this sounds very little, it sounds trite, but there will be situations where you will be short less than that to buy a very critical item. So, you see those statues, smash them. So, if you're enjoying this video so far, if you're finding those tips really useful, again, I'm giving you tips that I myself use every single time I play Returnal, then consider checking out our members club. You can join right here on YouTube. Your support helps us out tremendously. 
All right, moving on. This is a concept, okay? But it's very important. It's just as important as this is the very first tip I gave in this video. Here it comes. Every weapon is good. I'm gonna say it again. Every weapon in Returnal is good. Don't trust your cousin who says, oh, this weapon sucks, that weapon sucks. You know, he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. So the difference is some weapons will be more useful right out of the gates. Like for example, the Carbine or the Hollow Seeker or the almighty and fan favorite Dread Bound. If you think that weapon sucks, then try using it at close range. You'll see the damage that son of a bitch does. Whereas other weapons like the grenade launcher and the pistol will require some very specific skills or upgrades in order to really, really shine. But trust me, brother, when they do, get the fuck out of the way. They demolish everything. And if you're interested in this subject, you now talking about weapons, their skills and everything, then don't worry, I'm gonna make a video about it as soon as I have the time. Next up, yes, contrary to popular belief, you can save in Returnal. The thing is, there's a catch. You need to spend your precious ether in order to do so. And listen, if this is your first time playing or maybe the second time you're gonna face a boss, then my recommendation is don't bother saving because chances are you are going to die again. My recommendation if you do wish to save, if you should wish to save, is go for a couple of normal rounds without saving with the boss until you actually feel not hope but feel like, yeah, I think I got the hang of this, then consider saving. No, don't do it before that, because chances are you're just gonna be wasting your ether. Which could be used in a much smarter and more immediately beneficial way. You see, as soon as you start the game, just in front of the first door, to its left, you're gonna find this totem-like structure. If you insert a certain amount of ether, you will start fabricating new items which will then be available as drops from enemies. And you know what? Some of those items could be just the leg up you needed to beat the bosses instead of saving. And by the way, by the way, I'm making a series of videos about every single boss. So be on the lookout for that. Now, as for our next step, Returnal has an adrenaline system going from level 0 to level 5 you'll get several benefits like increased perception of where the enemies are, a wider time frame in which you can overload your weapons. That's just a fancy word for quick reloading. And in level five, whenever you reach it, you always get a free shield. So make sure to consider this while you fight. Hey, I'm defeating those enemies, you know, my health isn't that great, but I'm about to reach level five, so maybe I can just hold on to this health item just a little bit longer because I have a shield coming on. Sure, there's a risk to this, but like the old adage says, fortune favors the bald. I said bald, not stupid, okay? <laughs> if you really think you need to use the item even though you're about to reach level five in adrenaline, then go for it. Now for the last tip is, if you feel like your gameplay is suffering, if you feel like you're lagging behind, then you have the ultimate training arena right to your right, literally to your right, as you begin the game. I'm talking about the Tower of Sisyphus. It's an endless survival mode divided in phases which are subdivided in levels or floors. The only thing is, you need a grappling hook in order to access it, but you get it soon enough. It's like I said, just go through the normal story, you get it very quickly. Really, try spending a couple of hours in the Tower of Sisyphus, or try reaching at least Phase 3, okay, just Phase 3, and then return to the normal game and tell me if you're not feeling a huge improvement in your gameplay. So, this was Babylon speaking to you, I hope you enjoyed those tips. Again, I made sure to give you tips that I personally use myself every single time I play Returnal, okay? Hey, if you'd like to go the extra mile to support us, then consider becoming a member right here on YouTube. All you have to do is click the button below, and if you do, thank you. So, this was Babylon speaking to you, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.